In this video, we're going to cover a strategy that will help you with the law of signs on the SAT subject test in math level two. So first, go ahead and try this question. In triangle ABC, angle A is 30, A is 6, and C is 8, which the following must be true. Let's sketch out our triangle here. We've got, we'll draw something like this. We'll call this angle A. We know this is 30 degrees. Side A is 6, so side A is the side across from angle A. So we'll call that A, and that's going to be 6. And then we know C is 8, so we'll call this angle C. So this side here would be 8. So we've got a perfect law of sine situation, right? Law of sines is the sine of A over A is equal to the sine of B over B is equal to the sine of C over C. You also could see it flipped. You could also do A over sine A equals B over sine B. It's the same thing. Um, so here's perfect law of sine situation. We only need two of these. We don't need all three. We've got angle A, we've got side A, we've got side C, and we want to find the possible measures for angle C. So we're in place. Now you might say though, what's going on with this? Why can we have like two choices? What, what's going on here? And this is where the little trick comes in. But first let's solve it how we might expect to solve it. So sine of A is going to be the sine of 30 over 6 is equal to the sine of C, which is what we're looking for, over 8. So with that, we know this is a half. So 1 half over 6. And you can put that in your calculator if you didn't know that, but I just happen to know it. So we get that. We do a little cross multiplying. We do a little reducing. We get sine of C is equal to 2 thirds. And now we just inverse sine both sides to find the measure of angle C. Make sure I'm in degrees, I am. So angle C is 41.8. So you might say, okay, 41.8 looks like choice A is good, and then you'd get it wrong, unfortunately, because the answer is not just A. So what's the problem here? What is the issue? The thing with law of signs is it's possible, depending on the way the triangle is constructed, to get more than one answer, to get more than one triangle that actually works. And if you wanted to get into the details of it, if you think of the sine curve, the sine curve looks something like this. Here's 0 to 180. If you're finding a certain value for sine, which in this case is 2 thirds, like that's this y value right here, you can get two points, one in quadrant 1, one in quadrant 2. In other words, one between 0 and 90 and one between 90 and 180 that give you the same answer. The question is, even though you can get two answers for sine, do they both work with the triangle you have? There, sometimes when you're taught this, this is called the ambiguous case in the uh, law of sines. When you're taught this, sometimes you're given kind of a crazy relationship, like when A is bigger than the ratio of this and this, then this is true. That's very confusing, I don't like that. So I'm gonna show you a trick on how you can figure out whether or not you're gonna have two triangles or one triangle in this case. And here's how it works. So we've got 41.8. What you want to do is find the angle in quadrant two that would be equivalent to 41.8 in quadrant one. And the way you do that is you do 180 minus 41.8. So here I'm going to do 180 minus my answer. And I get 138.2. So that could be the other sign answer, but the question is, can that actually be valued? Does that actually work? So we go back, we see first, if I put in 41.8 for this, then this angle is gonna be what's ever left over, right? 180 minus 41.8 minus 30 will be for this angle, no problem. What you do next though, is you take your other answer, 138.2, and you ask yourself, can I build a triangle out of this? And indeed I can, 138.2 plus 30 is 168.2, that leaves like 11.8 degrees for the third angle, we've got no problems, we've got a triangle. So in this case, I can get two answers that work. My answers are 41.8 and 138.2, and that's exactly choice E, because here's the 41.8, it's between zero and 45, and the 138.2 is between these two, so we've got choice E. How would you know if your second choice didn't work? Imagine for a second if this were 50 degrees instead of 30, and I got 138.2 as my second answer. Notice 50 plus 138.2 is 188.2, which is 
or one, yeah, 188.2, which is bigger than 180. I don't have anything left for this third angle. So I have a triangle that's impossible. So in that case, this would not, the second triangle wouldn't work. I would only have one triangle that would work, and that would be my original 41.8, 41.8 answer. Because as you can see, 41.8 plus 50 leaves me plenty of degrees left for the third angle. One other note, if you get, let's say you're doing your law of sines and you end up with something like this, sine of C is equal to 1.5. This will get you no answer. If you put this into your calculator, you'll get uh, error undefined because there is no angle that will give you a sine measure of 1.5 because sine only oscillates, as we see here, between one and negative one. So in the case that you get this, that means there are no triangles that are possible. And those are your three cases. Either no triangles are possible, and that happens when you can't even get any angle. Uh, two triangles are possible, and that happened in this case when you try the answer you get and the supplement to see if they both work as triangles, and they did. Or you get one answer, in which case only one of your angles will actually fit in your triangle to make a legal triangle. So there's your little trick. You don't need to memorize all that other stuff uh, related to law of science. You can use this to figure out your answer every single time. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com slash enroll, and you can find the link in the description below the video.